Now in this lesson we take a look at one half. Example one. We're asked to colour one half of each shape. Well there's a rectangle there. To colour one half of that, we could colour the left side there. Same rectangle. Is there another way we could do it? Well we could colour the top half if we liked. Alright, there's a few different answers that would be right for that. Now what about this triangle? If I'm thinking, well let's colour that in, that looks like a half, but tell you what, it's not. Because that bit that's shaded, that's coloured in, is much smaller than the bit that's not. So it's not one half. So that is wrong. What we'd need to do in this case is to colour in like that. Example 2. Colour one half of this group of stars. Well, we've got eight stars there. To colour one half, we could simply colour the top half there. Now, that's not the only answer, but that's certainly the correct answer. But looking at it, we've coloured in four stars, OK? Hmm, that's interesting. If we coloured in like this, OK, we've coloured the, the left half, if you like, again, that would be correct. There's a few ways of doing it. We could colour it like that. That's still one half coloured in, correct. We could even colour it like this, OK? So there's plenty of ways of getting the correct answer there. Example three. Find one half of six rocks. Hmm. Well, we've got some rocks there, okay? They're all on top of each other. We're going to move them around. We're going to count out six. Because we're dealing with one half, we're going to split the six rocks up into equal groups, two equal groups. So let's count six rocks out. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, we've got six rocks there, so let's get rid of any remaining rocks. So one half of six rocks, if we look, we could see that each of the groups have got three. So one half of six rocks is in 